Swedish Lapland is famous for its moose and its moose hunting, but it's all at a local level. Moose equals meat in the freezer, and if it's not moose, it's reindeer. Now the region wants to open its forests to international hunters. Why? Well, conservation. Hunting stops trees being turned into timber. Hunting offers a different way to make the land pay, a sustainable way. And the local tourist board, the heart of Lapland, wants us to show the world's landowners and locals that if it pays, it stays. Thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah. To start our conservation effort, Paul needs to zero his rifle. This Sako 75 with aim point on top is not the rifle we thought he'd be using. Here we go, here we go, beautiful. His S20 with custom stock, his knives and his ammo are all with border police at Olanda Airport in Stockholm. Basically we got the rifle taken off us. End of story. <laughs> There's a bit more to it than that. But to stick with our green agenda, we have sourced this cherished Sacco and a box of Sacco Powerhead Blade, plus some full metal jacket rounds for Capacaley. Shot uh, a lot of fallow deer with these. So, 162 grain. Green ammo. Is it too soon to talk about it, do you think? Or yes, let's do, this, do it in the woods. <laughs> Still a delicate subject, David. <laughs> Look at this. We have one, the Mighty 75. Yeah, I had one of these when I was younger, and I had, had one of the early ones, the 75, in a uh, plastic stock as well, 243. And uh, yeah, that's where it all began, the Seiko journey. With everything on, we used the last few hours of daylight to see if host Peter and Ozzy the dog can stir up something towards our high seat. Nothing, but as we're here to coincide with the moose rut, it's not just the dogs that can improve our chances. A little less. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know where it comes from. I, I fully get it. But I need to do more practice in the back in the lot. <laughs> our simple but cosy forest camp and head just a few miles down a forestry track to let Doris do her thing. An app on Peter's phone tracks her every move. She hunts in a different way to Ozzy. Neither are pure breeds. Peter has been selective. You've got two very different looking dogs there. Yeah, so Doris is, she's a mixed breed. She's Laika, she's uh, Jamtun, the Swedish uh, moose dog. She has Helle Forsare and uh, Black Moose Dog in her. Okay. Yeah. And uh, Ossie is also a mixed breed. It's a plot hound or bloodhound, 50%. And 50% is Yam uh, uh, So he can, he works also with the, with the tracks, not only with the wind as a, as a normal moose dog does. So in different um, circumstances, you can choose which one you want to work with. Okay. So he's, he's got American bloodhound in him? Exactly, in him. So you can see the, 
the colors on the back here. It's a little bit like a ridge back in the colors. Yeah. Yeah. But so a, a powerful dog. So is, is, is he a, a dog that's commonly used here or are you sort of Ab quite unique? Absolutely not. I, in that case, I'm quite unique in that case that I use one of those. <laughs> he has the, the most barking per minute I ever heard. He can be over 120 barks per minute. And Doris more, she barks between 70 and 90 normally. So, so it's, a, it's a difference also there. And we are approaching it. Yeah. When, it, when Doris is holding the, the moose in bay, yeah. always bury the dog before you shoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Problem, yeah. And then we're creeping quietly. Yeah. And yeah, we are, now we are three, so yeah, yeah. if you're one, yeah. you have a good chance. If you are two, <laughs> that's 80%. Now we are three, so then we are down maybe to 50% chance. The cameraman is probably less than that. Yeah, mm -hmm. excellent. Yeah. It's like 2.2. <laughs> yeah. But you know what they Yeah, yeah. So, awesome. so, we, so when, we, when we're approaching them, we're really quiet. Quiet and like always, the movement inside is the worst. Right. So always, when you move, you move. You see. You right behind. Move. So right. basically, right behind you. Yeah, exactly. The approach, yeah, yeah. Okay. So we are on the line. Yeah, okay. Doris looks to have been on a moose, but for a number of possible reasons, she's pulled off it. Her second foray is more productive. Peter's app shows she is standing and barking. The barking is the important bit. She's now running at 90, so one and a half barks per second. Nice, isn't it? We make our move. We need to be incredibly careful not to spook our moose. Sensitive part there. Yeah, yeah. So we need to figure out the good way to go there. Yeah, yeah. So we don't be exposed. On that? Exposed. Open. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah.
again. Thank you. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah. Tell me about it. I, want, I wanted to make sure. Yeah. <laughs> with a dog. <coughs> and obviously. She was exactly there by the good position. Yeah. She was behind it. Yeah, and angle and everything. This year's calf. This is calf, huh? Yeah. That was uh, intense. Intense moments. You know, I, that was my only. That was my last chance, and she'd have gone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. That, that's why she's on a stop there. She's a slight angle, and it's like still going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's slight angle. I thought that's my my last chance. Yeah. I thought, before she's because you saw that it was a young because it was coming against. Yes. Us. Yeah. yeah. She started to see us. Yeah. And then she was up. Who is there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, yes. It was, um, what's the word? My nerves are steel. I waited and waited and waited and waited. And... Yeah, exhilarating. What I liked about it, we watched it for a while yeah. and just assessed it rather than just up. And there's little bits through the, through the wood. We see the whole animal and yeah. see it with the dog as well, the interaction with the dog. And... I think David gets a nice video there. I think so. Yeah. yeah. Happy. Yeah. First moose, Mr. First moose, yes. Very exciting, very exhilarating. And uh, with the barking dog, that's uh, yeah. That's excellent. And that was, a, I would say, the perfect scenario with a the bank there, so yeah, you can exactly. creep up over the bank. It was unbelievable. It's yeah. Like you put it there on purpose. Yeah. I thought that was magical. It works. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> very good. Still got shakes. <laughs> and I was mean, still got them. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Peter. Yeah. That's fantastic. <laughs> Do you put it on the nose because to represent yeah. is the moose? Yeah, to, normally you can put it a little bit on the nose um, or on the eyes, on the top of the cheek. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you. Not because you've got a big nose. <laughs> I thought, yeah, got something to <laughs> don't laugh. <laughs> something in relation with the moose here. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I thought I, I thought I'd say I'm still it. quite high. I'm still quite high. I thought Sorry. I'd say it first. A bit hysterical. No, <laughs> no, that was intense. It was. Uh, <laughs> that was intense. Very, very intense. Yeah. Yeah. I can see why you, uh, you guys are addicted to it. Yeah, yeah. That's Out true. in nature, away from everybody, which is perfect. Yeah. Just... With your dog, your best friend. Yeah. And then, you're up close and in the action and. Yeah, exactly. We leave the moose guarded by Doris. She will keep the ravens and other scavengers off the carcass. You see this moss? It has her own name, I don't remember it, but this is the indicator for clean air. Yeah. This is the first thing that disappears if, if you have air pollution. Pollution, yeah. Because it's breathing from, ah. in the, from the air. You can see it all over there. Yeah. Quite good for lighting fires as well, is it? Yeah, yeah, it's a super dry. Yeah, oh yeah. It will just start to burn in, in a second or two. Yeah. Bushcraft. Oh. <laughs> then uh, <Holy> later. <laughs> I don't know what you're on about, David. <laughs> it takes us about 30 minutes to return to our cabin on foot. Paul gives us a quick tour of the facilities. Behind me is the woodshed. Most important thing, woodshed. Perfect. Then we got the main cabin just behind you, which has got two bedrooms in. Dog kennels. Very important latrine. Mm -hmm. Sauna. And like a wash basin hand area. And then we've got our cabin around the corner there, and a TP with an outdoor eating area. No people, no electric, no water apart from the river. Heaven. Now is when the work starts. But these guys have all the gear to ensure this moose ends up in the food chain as efficiently as possible. Can we turn it? 
turn him and put the heart on the... Yeah. Inside, yeah? Inside. I'll grab that. <laughs> Lars and Paul sift through the Gralic to try and find the bullet. Here, like at home, there's a lot of debate about non-lead like alternative no, rounds. Paul, Lars and Peter said to work. The carcass will go to a local butcher and game dealer later, where we're also going to be treated to some home cooking. With the skin off, Paul finds our Sacco power blade looking like it should. Oh, perfect. Very, very nice. One piece off. Yeah. That's superb. Look at that for a mushroom. Wow. Thank you, Sako. Yes, good job done. Good job done. Gosh. Blade ammo. Well, and that went through the front shoulder the as well. So, you know, that didn't lose no energy. Went on through the body, through the heart, lungs, and uh, just under the skin on the, on the opposite flank. So, very good job. What do you reckon, guys? Do you see many moose being shot? No, but um, that's an excellent, excellent bullet. Yeah. The mushroom is there, absolutely. Absolutely perfect. Yeah. So, I mean, out of 10. 10 out of 10? 10 out of 10. Yeah, so I like that one. <laughs> <laughs> That's lucky, yeah. So, yeah. Thumbs up. Thumbs up from the professionals. So, little momentum as well to take. Yeah. Paul's first moose will, hopes the tourist board, be the first of many shot by international clients in Swedish Lapland. Hunting preserves ecosystems across the world. And here it has the potential to save trees, which is just what people want to hear these days. If you want to find out more about hunting opportunities in Swedish Lapland, go to heartoflapland.com. For more information about Sacco rifles and rounds, go to sacco.fi.